Hi, this is Bob Burridge again here to show you a short free video on how to paint glass. It's always a big mystery. How do I paint glass? Well, actually, you don't paint glass. You paint the illusion of glass, you know, reflection and shapes and color and things like that. The first thing I do before I even paint is I tone the canvas or the paper a red or an orange. And I just basically take a paper towel and some orange paint, rub it in. Now I have the mid-tone ready to go. I'm halfway done. I just have to put my darkest darks and my lightest lights and I'm ready to go. So we'll let this dry and I'll be right back. Now that the surface is dried, we're ready to paint. Now, I don't want to get, start teaching about ovals and ellipses and things like that. You make it really simple on yourself. Wet your brush, a little water on your brush, always wet your brush first. And I'm going to dip it into some red. And you make three strokes, just three simple strokes. Here's one. There you go, one stroke, done. And we'll do one more on this side. And one more on this side. Bottle's almost done, isn't it? And we're going to give it a radius bottom. And we're going to close it up like that. Pretty simple to do a bottle like that. Alrighty. So now it's floating in space. We'll make sure there's a table line on there. Now we have it sitting on a table. Alrighty. I like to make the table, the next, a little bit longer so it's not so truncated. Now we have to figure out where the light's coming from. Some people like to put an arrow, literally an arrow, on the side of the painting to remind them there's light coming over here. When light comes into a, gr a glass bottle, usually we'll say a wine bottle today, uh, it's a dark green bottle. It's surprising what happens. It doesn't become the lightest side on that side. It actually bounces inside of the, the bottle um, with the liquid in it and the effect looks like something like this. Alrighty, so here we go. Now you can be wipe some of this away because I don't want wine to be in the entire bottle but I still have the shape there okay so we'll, the top of the bottle where there's no liquid will be all green done get in get out okay don't don't spend a whole lot of time in there don't tickle it to death just put it in and get out now we're also going to have a shadow in here don't forget the shadow we'll have a blue shadow for now just any color for now. There you go. Now the light's coming across here. That means it's going to be bouncing around inside here. Just bouncing around like crazy in here. So we'll make that side light. This side is going to be darker. And there's the, and there's the highlight. The red's already in there, so the highlight's already there. A little red on the inside here. There we go. We'll put a cork on it. There you go. A little cork in here. And I'm going to ground it some more, about another radius on the bottom. And again, light's shining over here. I'll even use my fingers sometimes. I love to paint with my fingers. Now we have the bottle, but now we have to relate it to the background and what color is next to it. So let's come up with a color. Maybe a light blue, that would be nice. Mix a lot of white with that. Okay, and now here's the best part about doing what I call negative shape painting. You can cut in and reshape the bottle if you want, like. Coming in, shaping the bottle. It's called negative shape painting. There's one side, it's done. Let's get the other side. Let some of that orange peek through. This is just a real short demo. I have much longer videotapes uh, des describing this and demo demoing this. Short, choppy strokes. There's your bottle. It's not so complicated now, is it? Let's make a table a uh, different color. Let's make it almost a white color. I'm going to make it really light. Light tablecloth. And again, as I do this with this white paint, I can come in and redraw the bottle. Paint on top of it, even though it's wet. The paints I use are really professional paints. Uh, you know, surround yourself with good paints. It makes the job a whole lot easier. Now I'm going to come in with my finger and paint a little bit, even in here, highlight back in here. Maybe a little highlight where the light's coming around and hitting the front of the bottle. Bing! Just like that. It comes up inside here. Bing! Add a little more. Now we're adding color to it just to make it bounce around and give it that je ne sais quoi. Some excitement in here. 
There we go. And kick it up even more, I'll make it even darker. It's the old trick. How do you make the lights lighter? You make the darks darker. How do you make the darks darker? You make the lights lighter. There you are, one little juicy bottle. And that's your lesson for today. To see more of these little wonderful techniques, at least the ones that work for me, check out my website, robertburridge.com, and uh, you'll see a whole lot of videos and uh, two uh, loosen up books too. Take care, hope to see you next time. Music